and welcome back to Sweater and a Movie. And I know no sweater today because it's Texas and it is 71 degrees outside. So instead, we went with a kind of Santa Claus hat, Hawaiian shirt thing. You got to have plenty of uh, short sleeve, lighter uh, weighted Santa Claus Christmas stuff on hand in case you get a bit of a warm spell like we're doing right now. Again, 71 degrees outside. But this shirt reminded me of one of my favorite Christmas movies, also one of the least accurate military movies ever made because out of seven years, I never once sang to my commanding officer. And if I had, I'm not sure they would have liked the song I came up with. But I have a very soft spot in my heart for the movie White Christmas. And maybe if you haven't seen it, you're at least familiar with it because you know that the Griswolds with the half 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 I don't necessarily watch the minstrel show scene because it does um, feel awkward, but I don't know. There's something about Bing Crosby in a movie. I dig the way they talk. Um, you know, anytime Jessica and I are making plans with somebody else, I'll ask her who she had in mind for the other hunk of dynamite. If you know, you know. Uh, one thing to watch for as well is that Rosemary Clooney, and that's George's aunt, actually does the singing for both female parts. While the other is a super good dancer, not so much a singer, so you really uh, you get to see how talented Rosemary Clooney really is. And uh, I don't know, it's so much fun. Danny Kay is hilarious, completely uh, steals the comedic scenes of the movie. So while it might surprise you, I'm a big musical guy, which means White Christmas sits resoundly in my top four Christmas movies of all time. Please check it out, and we're going to be back tomorrow with another selection to go with my sweater of the day.